In Seattle, Washington, journalist Jonathan Cho of Cho Show is recording an encampment sweep when this gentleman begins shouting random slurs while trying to pull out a pocket knife. Oh, he got a knife! He got a knife! He got a knife! He got a knife! Woo! You got a knife! Chasing me with a knife, bro. After seeing about a hundred people watching Cho being chased by this guy with a knife, these two workers finally called the police. But then this guy's Achilles said no. Cops are coming. Ma'am, he has a knife in his hand. Go to the other side. He's got a knife in his hand. Go to the other side. He just tripped. And to be quite honest, I kind of feel bad for the guy. Yeah, he's chasing a journalist with his play school machete, but he's obviously unwell. And I highly doubt that being a tent city security guard provides him with comprehensive medical coverage. So his road to recovery is likely going to be simply not recovering. As Jonathan Cho recaps the incident stating that he was documenting the recent encampment sweep on Pike Street when this guy started to chase him. After the police called and he tripped, Cho decided to not wait for the police and has since decided to not return to this area. Because if you recognize Jonathan Cho's amazing voice, it's either from Cho Show on Twitter or the fact that we covered when he was attacked by a man with a hatchet three months ago. But the craziest part is more recently in a different part of Seattle, a different man came at him with a baseball bat. Right there, here's a baseball bat. He came charging at me. This guy right here. This guy. Where the man was eventually arrested, as he had an outstanding warrant and was carrying around this Mizuno baseball bat. And in case you're not into baseball, Mizuno bats are oftentimes very expensive. But the worst part is, Cho reports that Seattle PD did not submit evidence on time to the prosecutors, so the guy was just put back on the street. And when he did finally see his day in court, his public defender tried to paint Cho as some sort of far-right agitator. And what a tragically dumb world we live in now, where this attorney likely went through eight years of college, but still thinks that telling the judge the Reddit mantra of conservatives bad is somehow going to free a man from jail, or the fact that he thinks that someone simply documenting the streets on what's really going on is the right-wing agenda. But side note, you're subconsciously snitching on yourself if you think gathering evidence is right-wing, because in contrast, what would left-wing be in that scenario? And let me know what you think in the comment section. Because I don't see Cho as an agitator, he seems to just be sharing what's happening in his community. A lot of folks here have to steal though, right? They wouldn't have to if they if they had the means to get a job. I don't have to steal, and I'm not a drug dealer. I made this money by, by hard work and dedication. How do you deal with people who are blaming you guys for all these thefts going on in the area? I mean, I can't I can't really be too mad at them. Cause and how Seattle is slowly turning into the zombie apocalypse, which is insane because we can say the same thing about arriving in San Francisco, California, as well. And what is San Francisco Mayor London Breed doing to better protect their public transportation? Unarmed welcome ambassadors. You know, almost identical to Los Angeles' unarmed metro ambassadors, as LA shares the same issues with their public transit system. And it didn't take a genius to predict that unarmed ambassadors would do absolutely nothing to solve an increasingly dangerous environment. This isn't even putting a band-aid on a dumpster fire. This is liberal mayors trying to solve gangrene by throwing old pennies on it. Just look at the footage from people of Metro LA on Instagram, watching these guys just chilling by themselves. Or the new Los Angeles security ambassadors just idly watching a guy get absolutely wrecked on the street. And look, I'm not going to blame the individuals getting 20 bucks an hour and a radio for not wanting to jump into action like a homeless version of Blade trying to stop crime where the police dare not venture. No, I just want them to stop burning through my tax dollars on useless virtue signaling. Because when there's a guy going absolutely nuts on the LA Metro with a bat, somehow I don't think this is going to stop him. Which makes you wonder, what do these ambassadors that cost the city hundreds of thousands of dollars actually do? Well, according to the people of Metro LA Instagram account, apparently they're just mass reporting and trolling social media accounts that call them out on their uselessness. And there it is. Just like Jonathan Cho in Seattle or people of Metro LA in Los Angeles 
Apparently, reporting on the problem is somehow magically worse than actually creating the problem in the first place. Because it's not about actually solving the crisis, they just want to feel better about the crisis. Who cares that Los Angeles and San Francisco are two of the top 10 most expensive places to live in the world last year, where people get to enjoy third world living at first world prices? So if you appreciate my concise, lighthearted commentary on what's really going on in the world, hopefully I've earned your subscription and we can talk again soon.